What's up, YouTube, and welcome to a conglomerate of overpowered cards. This one right here is a Mr. Negative, Zabu, and Silver Surfer deck. So the core idea of this deck is that we play a lot of cards that have strong on-reveal or ongoing effects, but to make up for it, they have low power values. And Mr. Negative perfectly solves that problem by switching those two numbers around. Now, a lot of these cards just happen to be three-cost cards, which means Silver Surfer is a perfect and natural addition to this deck, also benefiting greatly from Mr. Negative. Many of these cards also happen to have strong on-reveal effects like Ironheart or Wolfsbane, and that's why it makes sense to combo them with Wong. You can really accelerate those on reveal effects and of course also double the silver surfer effect. Absorbing Man also makes sense as an addition to this deck. It can either copy Silver Surfer's effect or be used as a pretty flexible card. Absorbing Man can copy Brood very nicely. All of the Absorbing Man copies will also have three power. And the two Brood links will be recipients of the Silver Surfer buff as they are three cost tokens as well. And that means with these three four cost cards, we already have enough to justify running Zabu in this deck for some discount and power turns. Now, I'm not sure how to build this deck perfectly. Another card I would like to run in this deck is Jubilee to either have a higher likelihood of getting something like Mr. Negative or Zabu from our deck or to pull another card that got reverted by Mr. Negative. The other card I would really like to fit in this is Bast, but I don't have Bast yet since it's a Series 5 card. But keep in mind that a serious drop is coming up soon at the end of this month. That means Bast will go from pool 5 to pool 4 and Absorbing Man will go from pool 4 to pool 3. So this deck should be much more accessible to all of you who don't have Absorbing Man yet. I will maybe also do another video on this deck after the serious drop happens and I will be able to get Bast. Anyway, this deck is already super fun as it is and also pretty darn good at getting 8 cube victories while also minimizing losses. Because this deck is very good at concealing its current power level. Our opponent doesn't really know what we draw and how strong our cost reverted Mr. Negative cards are. And that allows us to snap very aggressively with a high likelihood of our opponent staying if we have a great hand, but also retreat very easily for just one or two cubes in case our hand is a total brick. And you can also tag this deck quite well according to the meta. One of the cute ones here is Rogue. Rogue hits a lot of cards in the current meta. For example, Darkhawk. Stealing a Zabu effect or a Wong effect can be quite cute. Stealing a Devil Dinosaur effect is usually game winning. And hitting something like Knoll can also devastate our opponents. Iron Man is kind of self-explanatory in this deck. It's usually the best card to be a recipient of the Mr. Negative effect turning into a 0-5. And ideally we can copy that effect with Mystique as well either doubling our power in two separate locations or quadrupling our power in one location if we want to go heavy. And last card that doesn't really need much explaining is Psylocke. It just allows us to curve out much smoother because the best opener in this deck is Psylocke on turn two into Mr. Negative on turn three. With that being said, my final verdict on this deck is that it is pretty hard to play and it would probably be better with a card like Bast. I'm not sure if this is perfectly refined yet, but it surely has a lot of potential and gives you a lot of outplay potential. And if you want to see this deck in action, here are a bunch of gameplay examples from my Twitch stream over at twitch.tv slash Fresh Lobster CCG. Gotta update the deck graphic right here. Why you do this? What's up, Sizer? It's good to be back indeed. If you had Mystique's power, who would you want to look like? Good question. I'd probably go with Jason Momoa. Man, this location screws us over so hard. Because he has a lot of hair? Yes, and because he's swole and tan. <laughs> it's like the exact opposite of me. Oh. This is somewhat snappable. Only two draws though, it's a bit sus. Feels snappable though, doesn't it? Friendly 
neighborhood Spider-Man. Sure. You can kind of just give this one up. Nice. We gotta win left and middle, ideally. Why are you overcommitting this hard? Oh, baby. Um. This. 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 I'm just not sure if this is enough, but we're getting 10 power to the left. It should be enough. We're also spreading out on reveal onto three locations, so I mean we have priority anyway. We don't even have to be scared of Cosmo. Okay, good one. Victory. Opponent snap. Oh, damn it. Negative top deck? Close. Wait, this is pretty good. Brooded to Absorbing Man. This sucks. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Negative is not worth it anymore. I think it's Brute into Absorbing Man into Surfer Ironheart. Okay, if I do this, my opponent plays Mr. Negative. No, nothing happens. This is safe. We have priority and no reason to be scared of anything. But it's Ironheart Surfer, right? Or is it ever like. Yeah, it's better than Wolfsbane. Looks good. Looks great to me. Okay, the Ironheart kind of whiffed, but this is gonna bump up our left side a lot. Close one. <laughs> GG's. I think uh, Human Spider is mostly doing quests here. Victory. Would be my gut instinct for not retreating. Patriot Ultron or Patriot Doom? In most cases, Patriot Ultron. Depends a bit on your build. If you play like Mr. Sinister and Brood and Debris, then you want Doom. Does magic fit in the deck? I don't think she's necessary. I'm rather thinking about Jubilee, if anything. Also Zabu synergy and like additional chance to find either Mr. Negative or some cards, some like flipped card from your deck. Yeah, I think Jubilee might be good in this. 
Okay, so our opponent probably just has like Zabu. Zabu Darkhawk nonsense. We can rogue that, it's fine. Kind of like brood here. Wind aid my hand. Keg W. Thanks for the freebie. Okay. Uh, does Absorbing Man copy three power Broodlings? Or two power Broodlings? Three power? Okay, some split opinions in Twitch chat. For science. I'd assume it's three power. Nice. Cerebro. We can young Cerebro with Rogue. Just need to keep that slot open. Maybe it's Iron Man middle? That looks weird. I don't have a better play though. Thank Blue Marvel with Rogue, also an idea. Nice. Actually, that's perfect, isn't it? Because Blue Marvel would be the only one receiving the Cerebro buff. Unfortunately, we don't have priority here, but it's going to be fine. We just do this, this. I already... Oh, I didn't... I should have snapped earlier. I thought that was my snap. I forgot that it was my opponent's. Yes! Thank you for the cubes. Oh, now we might yoink Mystique's effect instead. That would be devastating. 50-50! No! No! Why you do me dirty like this? I'll oh, GG's though. Um, it might have been a mistake to... Like maybe on turn 5 I should have gone for priority instead of playing Ar Iron Man. Just play anything with big numbers, so that Rogue guaranteed steals Blue Marvel. My opponent had a 4-4 Rock Slide, well, a 6-4 that got discounted down to 4-4 by Zabu. And they still won. That's frustrating. Okay, that's good. We're just gonna play Ironheart just to have another body as a Silver Surfer recipient. It's awkward. Wasn't Psylocke Wolfsbane middle pretty good? Followed by Iron Man, Silver Surfer. Yeah, it's actually decent. Okay, I could ditch Mr. Negative. I go Brood into Absorbing Man into Surfer. I think that's the way to go. Galactus. Galactus kind of messes me up. Oh, thank you. It's pretty good. This is just the top deck I was looking for. I like our opponents playing Galactus, but didn't find Galactus. Victory. We take those, it's fine. that a bug? <laughs> Hard to say how the devs intended it. Ooh, could be good for us. Mm. 
Hmm. Brood into Wolfsbane middle into one surfer. Be really good. Rogue is also fun, but probably a bit weaker. Do you have all pool 3 cards at 3k? I finished my pool 3 at 3200 and something. Oh, okay. They have board space issues though. So now I can still reassess if I want to rogue this. Maybe Wolfsbane here and Surfer middle? The thing is the, the copied Wolfsbane will keep the power. If it goes left, it's kind of pointless. If it goes right, it's absolutely cracked. A double surfer is probably better. The guaranteed double surfer. I mean, we're getting there. The apocalypse. I'm not sure why they think this is such a good move. Wait, they snapped, right? We snapped us back. Okay, we're getting two cards. Got nothing. Oh, we're getting their apocalypse. Perfect. And Drac their Dracula will only have one uh, card to discard. Never mind, they're getting our hand. <laughs> but these are all low value. Feels like our opponent forgot about Mindscape. Um, the Morbius. There's a tiny chance. Teeny tiny chance we lose here. Because they're discarding two cards. Morbius grows by four. So Dracula discards like a six power card. They can win middle. Or if Dracula discards the Zabu that we gave them at 4 power. We win on tie breaks. Okay, we take those. Victory. Funny game. Would I play Boston as if I had it? Absolutely. But we'd have to change the deck a bit. Could be really good for us later. Oh, Jesus. Opponent has the perfect deck. Wait, it's a Thanos deck. Stones. They speak Czech. No, I don't. I understand some Russian, but. What does Mindstone do? Okay, this is my only way of getting power to the left side. We'll have six next turn. Let's bop Iron Man right side and see what happens. Remember abusing Deadpool in Altar? Sabretooth was e even more fun than Deadpool in my opinion. This deck is playable without boss. Any deck is playable if you know how to snap and retreat. This and then next turn Iron Man, the Mystique, whatever, it was Surfer. Aren't we just winning? I'm not sure about this, but I wanna I wanna try snapping. Cosmos Cruiser's over. Like Iron Man here, then Mystique, same side, Surfer left. 14 power on Altar should definitely win. I am Iron Man.
and they move Thanos. Yeah, maybe it's some like Thanos plus double titanium, but one titanium is not in... Oh wait, blue marvel. Oh no, I forgot about blue marvel. Damn it. Yeah, they're ahead by one on left side. I am Iron Man. Ah, close. What I could have done is just play Surf Rand Vibranium into the left and ditch the Mystique. It runs into the risk of our opponent just filling up this side and beating us here, but we would have 20 power right side. Oh, it's a tough choice to, to make. Because if our opponent doesn't draw specifically Vibranium here, like if they don't have it in hand, they're not making this play. Mr. Negative, I summon thee! You shall have another try of appearing on the right side of my hand. Please? Pretty please? Good at this game, I can't believe it. How do we do this though? I don't want Mr. Negative destroyed because he can be Wolfsbane or Ironheart's recipient. Where am I next to place? Negative into Zabu. Nah, get out of here. Oh, I would really like to win this though, but we probably won't. The ninja dodge. Okay, and we know where the cosmos located. Ooh, okay, they could copy any of these. Hopefully it's not absorbing my Oh never mind. They played it into Cosmo. Ooh. Why isn't that quite lovely? What about Zing Zang Zoom? Looks good to me. Oh, Absorbing Man will only trigger once again, right? So I might as well play him to the right side to spread power more evenly. Oh, the rogue! doesn't have a target we can just play her for raw power like rogue should be enough to win this right and then we just go like mystique will spin right it's the scariest that can happen our opponent plays something like leader could also mystique middle just in case rogue copying mystique that works We'll spin middle. Yeah, but my opponent also only has six power and they're unlikely to invest more. This also beats arrow. That's close. It's pretty close. If we knew what our opponent is playing, this decision would be much easier. But like, if they play arrow, they're for sure gonna arrow into murder world. Victory. This should beat arrow, this probably beats leader. Although it, then it depends like with rogue cloning and what which rogue steals. I think both planes are fine. Like Wolfsbane middle also makes sense against some other stuff. Like if they double down on middle and play some big stuff, middle and left. Hello there. Please don't discard my Mr. Negative this time. Oh, 
Oh, that looks good. That looks glorious. Pretty happy Rogue. Rogue has so much use compared to past matter. Absolutely. Rogue is a very cool card design-wise. Okay, where do we put Mr. Negative? I think left side because we kind of want to brute middle. Sucks a bit to fill this up, but... We just get so much value off of Mirror Island. Interesting. Probably a Surfer deck. So on turn 5 we want to play on Fisk Tower anyway. That's going to be like Wong Surfer or whatever. Wong Wolfsbane maybe. Oof. Now uh, one wolf spam makes more sense. I don't want to show leader yet, just because they might also easily play rogue. We should just win this, shouldn't we? Oh, this is so strong. Holy smokes. And we have priority. So no arrow, no cosmo to be worried about. Worked out super nicely. Victory. 